something different. It's a vintage trackball. Uh, it's old enough that its input connector, its connector here is a 15-pin D-style connector, and it's designed for the old analog interfaces on computers, PCs. It's got the two buttons, it's got the trackball, it weighs a lot, it's quite chunky, and the ball doesn't roll smoothly. It's very much a case of push that ball around. It's not like the modern trackballs that you can just flick it and it spins as you shoot across the screen. So the reason I bought this is because from the early days when I originally bought uh, my first printed circuit board design package, which was Cyan Boardmaker 1, um, I really wanted the trackball. It, was, it cost, for me, as a, just a young kid at the time, it cost about 100 quid for that software, which, which seemed like a lot of money for just a, a hobby application. And I really wanted the trackball they offered with it, which was a Marconi trackball, but it was very much in the category of air traffic control and military applications. It was a very expensive device, so it just left me this desire for a trackball. I've had various trackballs in my life. I've gone from the old sort of uh, mechanical trackballs, like this one is, to the uh, optical trackballs. And the one I use at the moment for all my printed circuit board design and general laptop use is a Logitech Trackman. Top lifts off here with lots of spring washers. Okay. And inside we have the ball. Let's zoom down in this. Oop. So we have a ball bearing here, a bearing waist. We have the ball sits on these things. I'm seeing a problem already. That wheel is not actually making contact with this. I wonder, I bought this from a sort of surplus company that sells sort of surplus products that haven't perhaps sold too well. I'm wondering if this was a kind of prototype and it didn't have great luck. That is definitely not working properly. Hmm. That's annoying. I didn't have much luck when I used it at the time. I didn't really click with it. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the... Uh, I think it may have needed a special interface because the, the mouse plugged into a specific mouse port at that time. So um, I'm not sure if I could actually even use this with the software. Boardmaker 1 was, uh, well, to quote its uh, supplier, the Print Circuit Board Design Package, Cyan, I phoned up with an inquiry about it, and the guy said, oh, there's no technical support, lol, that's just a, a publicity stunt. And he was talking to someone young who'd, like, spend quite a lot of money on a piece of printed circuit board software, and that wasn't what I wanted to hear. That annoyed me at the time. But uh, that aside, this feels like a... Billiard ball, snooker ball, like a cue ball. Don't know. But what it's doing here is there's an end stop here. Where is the end stop? Oh, it's relying on the end stop inside the potentiometer. These wheels look very rough. It's like they've had these custom made. Um, and all that happens is when the ball gets to end of travel here, it just skids on the plastic and it's also skiddy on this sort of ball bearing race and so it means when you go to the extreme end it, the, the resistance is quite high it does take quite a lot of force but then again you'd only tend to be using it within its sort of sort of mid position so it wouldn't be like that i suppose you know for the traditional track balls of that time it would have been that typical feel yeah the buttons themselves oh they're keyboard buttons Cherry style keyboard buttons. I don't think that is cherry, but it looks like a standard computer keyboard button of, of that time when every single button on your keyboard was a separate one. And they've added a little washer here. I'm not sure why they've added the washer. Maybe just to pack the button up so it didn't rattle too loose, so it pushed up against the case. I feel okay. But it's not exactly what you'd call intuitive. It's not like the typical mouse these days. You're skidding around your fingers and clicking the buttons either side. This one is very much push and then, you know, roll and press the button. It's not going to be quite easy to operate. But it did just use those two analog inputs and the button inputs. It basically is an analog controller with a big ball riding on top of it. So interesting. Well worth taking to bits. But kind of obsolete, but just kind of looks the part. It's certainly not as slick as the modern ones, but definitely interesting to look inside.